So if you guys joined Roblox during or before 2015, you will have more than likely participated in the Christmas events known as Gift Explosion. Basically in Gift Explosion 2012, Roblox released nine gifts that were gifted to users if they met the requirements. For example, the Razzle Dazzle Hollywood star gift was given to players who had a video thumbnail in one of their places were awarded this gift. All requirements will be on the screen if you want to pause and read them all. Then Gift Explosion 2013 and 2014 had 13 and 14 gifts that were given to users who met the requirements, which will be on the screen again, but you could also buy these gifts if you weren't given them. And Gift Explosion 2015 was the same as 2012, again with the requirement only gifts. Obviously after 2015 we never had another Gift Explosion, which players are still upset about. We had Holiday Giveaway 2016 and 2017, which gave players only free, free hats, very disappointing. And despite not having a gift explosion since 2015, everyone still waits for it to return every year. This year I think everyone kind of accepted that we probably won't get a gift explosion, but we instead hoped for at least some kind of Christmas event. But instead, so far all we got was an Aquaman event, Heroes of Roblox here, the Roblox Creator Challenge, this Afro thing which is clearly not an event, and this new event that just appeared. Could this be the Christmas event we have been waiting for? It doesn't look very Christmassy at all, but never judge a by its cover. I clicked it and it turns out that Roblox are advertising their own stuff on their own website. Get the ultimate gift this holiday season with Robux cards you can unlock bonus in-game content, upgrade your avatar with cool items or double the fun with a Builders Club membership. It's the gift that keeps on giving. They are smart though, they have literally never advertised their gift cards until now, two weeks before Christmas when a bunch of kids want Robux. And below this it even has where you can get a gift card code emailed to you or which store you can get a gift card from in person. The Walmart link takes me to a store finder. I'm apparently not allowed on the GameStop website and the pharmacy takes me to another store finder. It's kind of weird how a pharmacy would sell Roblox gift cards though. Costco takes me straight to a $50 card. Newegg takes me to a choice of 10 or $25 cards. And finally, Sam's Club takes me to a $25 card for precisely $23.98. This $25 Roblox gift card costs a very specific $23.98. And 98 cents. You know, that makes sense. It's not the fact that Roblox advertised their own gift cards on their own website that's the issue. That's absolutely fine I guess. It's their website and they can do whatever they want obviously. If they want to sell more gift cards, sure that's cool, but advertising gift cards is not an event. It just seems like they put it there because everyone sees this sidebar at all times whilst on the website and especially when everyone is very patiently waiting for a Christmas event to appear in this sidebar. In all seriousness this isn't a problem, it's just maybe a little bit weird that they'd put this gift card thing in the place where events are supposed to go. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.